I'm sure if I held this up, you guys would instantly recognize it as Thor's hammer Mjolnir. But how much do you really know about this enchanted weapon? Hello and welcome to Comic Misconceptions, the show that takes you into detail about the things you think you know about comics. I'm your host, Scott Nicewonder, and today we're going to be talking about exactly what I said at the beginning, Thor's Hammer. Now, if you haven't seen it already, we did make a short video about Thor's Hammer and people really seem to like it. So if you haven't seen it, go check that out. It's really fun, uh, really cool effects if I do say so myself, and it's definitely worth a look. But let's get right down to it. What is Thor's Hammer? So the history of Mjolnir in the Marvel Universe has been written and rewritten a couple times, but I think the most popular one is that Odin, father of Thor, had asked some dwarves to craft this weapon in the heart of a star and a magical forge. And uh, that's basically where we get it. It has lots of powers, such as summoning the elements of storms, you know, rain, wind, lightning, obviously. It's very strong. It can destroy mountains and even entire planets. It can create all sorts of different energy blasts. It's also good at absorbing and redirecting energies. It can even be used as a way of tracking people in mystical objects. And it's deadly to the undead, which is kind of a weird statement i guess but it's true thor can use it to vanquish vampires so there you go they'll just burst into flames you know as they do so what is mjolnir made of it is made of uru which is a fictional metal which you know marvel and their fictional metals they can't get enough of them but it is far from indestructible in fact it's been destroyed on several occasions it's been cut in half by the destroyer it's been you know, just broken because it used too much power, it's been dissolved, and they always come back each time one way or another, so it doesn't really matter. If it gets broken, it'll be back in probably the next issue. So I'm sure, as we all know, the inscription on Thor's hammer reads, who shall ever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. So for me, that means one of two things. Either one, the hammer is, you know, a normal hammer, normal weight to it, but the enchantment makes it so you cannot physically lift it from its spot unless you are worthy. Or two, it could be that the hammer is so heavy that the enchantment is, if you're worthy enough, you can actually lift it. So I guess really the heart of this question is how much specifically does Mjolnir weigh? Well, Neil deGrasse Tyson used science and that big old brain of his to figure out that the hammer is probably about 300 billion elephants worth of weight. Now, as impressive as this sounds, it was recently found out to be not entirely true. In fact, according to this trading card that Marvel put out many years ago featuring Thor's hammer, it is said to weigh exactly 42.3 pounds. Hardly an unliftable amount of weight for most superheroes. But this makes sense though, because if it weighed 300 billion elephants, then Loki here would be crushed to death. So it's definitely that the enchantment makes it really hard to pick up despite it being relatively a light amount of weight. So that means that wherever Thor leaves this hammer, it's gonna stay there and there's nothing you can do to move it. However, if Thor, say, left his hammer in space where there's no gravity, who's to stop anyone from just nudging it slightly? I mean, would it just stay where it is in space, despite the fact that there's nothing really holding it down? Well, we have to understand the difference here between lifting the hammer and wielding the hammer. The inscription on it implies that people will be able to hold this hammer, but it's only if they are worthy that they possess the power that it comes with. Meaning, people should be able to lift it physically, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they'll be able to conjure storms. Fascinatingly enough, the conundrum of Thor's hammer in space actually happened once. In fact, it was Iron Man who was pushing Thor's hammer in space, but as soon as he entered Earth's atmosphere, he was no longer able to lift it. Thus, answering our question here, in fact, you are able to nudge Thor's hammer along, but uh, uh, once you hit a place with gravity, 
you're kind of screwed. It's no longer in your control. But what about someone like Magneto? Surely his power over magnetism would let him lift a metal hammer. Magneto's shown us a couple times that he's been able to deflect the hammer when it's thrown at him, so I'm sure lifting it wouldn't be that big of a problem. I mean, it is metal after all. He should be able to pick it up using his mutant abilities. But we, again, have to understand that he's just moving the hammer physically. He's not wielding any of its power. He's not worthy enough to possess the power of Thor, though he is capable of moving it with his powers. So now we reach the question, who is worthy enough to possess the power of Thor other than, you know, Thor himself? What other characters in the comic book universe have been able to pick up Thor's hammer? And there's quite a bit, actually, some surprising ones that you might not have known. Both Captain America and Storm have been able to pick up Mjolnir and wield its powers. In a couple what-if storylines, which are basically stories that don't really exist, they didn't really happen, but... They just wrote him in to see what it would be like if these things happened. So, for example, Loki and Rogue and Conan the Barbarian all wielded Thor's hammer. But this one is probably the most interesting if you didn't know it. Both Superman and Wonder Woman wielded Mjolnir in separate crossover events. Hopefully you guys know a little bit more about this awesome weapon so you can go and impress your friends. And everything but you know what time it is now it's time for the weekly trivia challenge so last week i asked you guys which actor would have played superman in tim burton's superman lives movie that never saw the light of day and 130 salim said nicholas cage that is correct gosh that would have been just the worst movie i mean check out what he would have looked like scary this week's trivia question is actually very interesting, and I think it's kind of cool, and I hope you guys do too. It's about the Transformers. So Optimus Prime, I'm sure we all know who he is, big giant truck robot, leader of the Autobots, very strong both physically and morally. But of course he is a robot, a self-aware robot, but robots and computers and stuff like that use data and file systems to store information. So, this week's trivia question is, how much space would Optimus Prime's consciousness take up if you were to put him onto your computer hard drive? I'm talking how many gigabytes, how many terabytes would his entire consciousness take? Would it fill up on your hard drive? Kind of an interesting question, and if you think you know the answer or want to take a stab at it, you might be right, and if you are, we'll feature you on the show next time. So, if you want to leave your answers down in the comments below or on Facebook, you can even tweet at us at NerdSync using the hashtag CM Trivia. And hey, while you're at it, if you want to send in your own trivia questions, we'd love to feature your guys's. Uh, fun facts and stuff on the show as well. So if you have some of those, feel free to send those in uh, using Twitter and Facebook or wherever else. We, we love to hear from you guys. So get to work on this week's trivia challenge. That's it for this week, you guys. I hope you learned a lot. And hey, if you like this video and you're a first time watcher, please subscribe at the bottom. We'd love to have you guys. We have some great stuff coming out. We, if you want to learn more about comic books, you can definitely view some of our other videos that we've made. And of course, we always have some coming out. And once again, if you haven't seen that Thor video that we made, go check that out. That's a fun one as well. You can also check out NerdSync Productions on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at the Ace Convict. And for NerdSync Productions, I'm Scott Nicewonder. We will see you guys next time when we talk about more things that you thought you knew about comic books. See you later. It's very strong, can destroy mountains and... Oh, hey. So I'm sure we all know the, the inscription. Gosh. Sure. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for yelling. Thanks for yelling, you guys. It's really helping me out.